Hello my friends, my name is Dadcraft73 and welcome back to another episode of our 1.15.1 Vanilla Minecraft Let's Play series. Today, we need to make a house for our bees. We have that beehive. I did make one of these. We'll talk about that in just a second, but I want to do this thing. Here, hello. Can I do like this? <gasps> he went inside! Hello? Dang it. Alright, we're going to need another thing. Okay, now we have two. Man, I've been out here waiting forever <laughs> to start this episode until they both came out. This guy's being good. That other guy's in his house right now. He went in there. He was loaded down with pollen. Um, I did... So here's what I did between um, now and a little bit ago. I need to stand here with this flower in my hand so I can't switch back and forth. So I took those shears that you see in my action bar and I sh sheared the beehive right there. And um, it gave me three pieces of like three honeycomb things and i took those with six planks and made myself a bee house which is right there it's pretty cool things gonna work like a dream now we just need to get multiple bees so we can have um like a colony um so, which also leads us into sort of what we're going to be working on today which is going to be uh we need to make ourselves a a bee like habitat like um Oh, it's not like a, an apiary. An apiary is like those boxes that you see, or like a normal. But we're going to make like a little building that, with the idea being that we could house potentially multiple sets of bees in there and then start getting some things like honey blocks and stuff like that. So that's what we want to work on today. Um, I would like to go ahead and have this other bee cart back out here, though. That'd be amazing if he could come out here. So we could breed these bees up, and then we could see a baby bee. And then we need to go around and grab some resources and do the thing and start building. We're going to use these similar build styles that we've already used because I think I'm down with those and I like them very much. Um, and then if we have a little bit of time here in the end of this episode, we want to start talking about um, sort of what our, our big build for this area is going to be. Obviously, we need to get a warehouse going. Man, we just have lots of work to do. That's just the way it is. Wow, that guy over there has been there for a while. All right, that's one B. Okay, where's the other B? Come on. Oh, okay, they're both out. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. So we're going to click this guy with a flower and this guy with a flower. And then hopefully we will soon have... <gasps> <laughs> Look at that little guy, man. Oh, he's getting on that flower. No. Oh. There. Okay. Now I have a cool screenshot of those bees. Now we'll let them go about their business. So here's what I learned about these beehives. One is when they start dripping the, the honey like we saw earlier, that means they are... Um, it's ready to be harvested. So the, and so it's not because I already sheared it, but as soon as we see it drip of the honey the next time, we will immediately go and shear it, and I'll show you how that works. The other thing that I found out is that up to three bees can live in a single one of these, which is the same as these beehives, right? Three bees. So for every three bees, so the next time that we breed those bees again, we're then going to have to get ourselves another one of the thing. So we need to take care of that. All right, so the question is, where will we be building our beehive? Because we need to build it somewhere relatively close to our house because we want to be able to walk out here. Not our beehive, our like bee building. And I have this idea. So, oh, I also learned that the bees, uh, it's, the, it's like the bottom. They need to have access to the bottom of the beehive because that's actually where they go inside the hive. So they can, I guess they can come out on any of the sides, I believe, but they only can go carting inside the beehive from the very bottom. So we need to make sure that we remember that and use that to our advantage, okay? Um, I did clean up my inventory right before I started recording. I need to do, I need to get my storage taken care of. Um, I almost need, you know what I think we need to do real quick? And I usually don't love to do this stuff on camera because it's very, it's more fun to be like, okay, this is all done. But I think we need some sort of a project, uh, like calendar type thing. So, or not a calendar, like a, what's it called? Like a project schedule or a project list. So let's go here and get some oak. And then, do we have any more signs? We have one sign. Let's grab a couple more. I don't know how many signs. I actually don't want those guys. All right, so let's go like... That gives me three signs. 
That's a total of four. And then this will be a little bit of a platform. Do I have some, uh, in my wood items chest, do I have some uh, fences? Yeah. One, two. Okay. So let's just go and make ourselves a little bit of like a bulletin board. I have some torches. Yeah, I got tons. And that way we can sort of keep track of our projects. And as we get them done, we can remove that sign and we can add more, do whatever we want to. And I think what that's going to do for us is that's going to make it so we're not all caught up jumping from project to project. Does that make good sense to you? I think it makes kind of good sense to me. All right, let's get this stuff ready. And we're just going to build... I don't know. It could just be right here. It doesn't have to be anything too crazy. Right? Maybe up here, out of the way a little bit. Yeah, okay. So let's just put down one of these and we'll put down one of these. And then we'll go... Let's do like one more this way, one more this way, and then we'll go up one, two. Okay, and then we want to make sure that we have a torch maybe here and here, just so everything's cool, and then we'll chop this. Okay, my headphones are going all crazy. So there we go, very simple little project board that we can use to kind of keep track of the things that we need to take care of. Uh, we're not trying to like do anything too fancy here. So first up, or at least we need a a B um, house thing. And this isn't like a, not one of these things that we just made, but like a house for the bees to hang out. Okay. Uh, we need to fix our XP uh, farm. We do that. We need to resolve um, storage, storage issues. Yeah, we need to definitely take care of that. And what else? Oh, I know. Um, we also need to move bird cage. <laughs> yeah. So this bird cage, it was all cool and all. Um, I never, I never really loved that. This whole design. We need to go and get Alex um, out of here. We need to get all that squared away, and we need to figure out a new spot for those dudes. Um, maybe something a lot smaller, or maybe they can be in the bee house that we build and then it could be like the birds and the bees or the bees and the the yeah you know you know what i'm talking about let's go in here and see if these guys are still okay there's janky and there's alex i wonder if they fixed the issues that we had with these crazy guys hello you want to come with me guy do these guys fly better now, I wonder? Do they, like, teleport again? Because that was, seemed like a bug to me. All right, come on, guys. Let's go in the house. Come on. Come on. There's Janky. He's on my shoulder. Where's Alex? Uh-oh. Now listen, I didn't do anything to these birds. Oh, see the house? You dumb birds. Get over here. Come on. Come on. All right, come on. Get in here. Okay, good job. All right, good job, Janky. Okay. I feel like I need to move this. Okay. All right, now you need to sit down. You land. Alex, you sit down there. Okay, so we, we're going to tear up this whole, this thing immediately. we got to get rid of this thing. I'm going to go off camera and take care of that real quick. But I think this might be a good place to replace, or a good spot to replace this with our new bee uh, area. I don't I don't know what we call it. It's not a bee enclosure, a bee. What is it, a place where you just have, like, bees hanging out? I mean, apiary is like their little house thing. Right? I don't know what it's called. We could we could make up a name. The honey house? Yeah, that's what we'll call it. 
<laughs> yeah, let's just call it that. That's going to be amazing. And then we'll figure out some other place for the parents to go for now. I mean, we got to take care of our bee, our bee buddies for sure. All right, so I'm going to go sleep through the night. I'm going to tear this down. I'm going to bring you back, and then we're going to start laying out our, our honey house and see what we can do from there. So I'll see you in just a second. Oh, is this thing dripping again? Let's go shear quick. Oh, the bees are mad. The bees are mad. Oh, they're poisoning me. Oh, I didn't hit anybody. Shut the door. Great. The bees are mad. Oh, I'm poisoned to death. Oh, <laughs> dang it. I must have tried to shear a bee. They're out there buzzing around. Please be nice. Don't get your face all red. Don't get me. There. Okay, let's sleep through the night. Maybe they'll forget about us in the morning. He's still mad. You guys just sit there. You forget his house? Hi. Don't get lost. Little bee. Come on. Come with me. Come on. Come on. Don't go in there. Okay, now you're good. Do I see another bee like buzzing off this way? I'm gonna let him go. They're fine. They're fine. Don't worry about it. That's all good. I didn't mean to hit that bee. I just that wasn't a purpose on purpose thing. I was just trying to shear that thing and show you guys. Anyway, let me go back to um, clearing down this building now that we have our bee issue solved. Uh, we did get some more of these, so maybe we can make some more bee houses. It's going to be amazing. So let me just do what I need to do, and I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Okay, um, that was like a long time that between this clip and the last clip, there are lots of things that happened. First of all, I did a little bit of terraforming because... Um, I was just gonna build like a like a little house, but then I had this idea. What about like a greenhouse? Because bees do more than just you know fly around and look awesome. He's over there carting around. <laughs> this one bee, I don't know if it's the same one, but uh, but one of them likes to go like very far away from the hive. The other two, uh, well, let me tell you something. So first of all, if you've got bees inside your hive like right there, and you're dumb enough to uh, shear the bees with your shears, um, they get very mad, they come out and they sting you. Now if they sting you, um, they die, pretty much. So earlier I got stung by a bee, I didn't realize that they died, I guess it makes sense, right? Um, and then they died. So then I only had two bees left, so I had to be very, very careful to make sure that my other bee I was able to breed those like immediately. As soon as I had the ability to, I went ahead and bred those, and then I was back in business, I think. I mean, not I think, I know. But I was back in business. So, uh, it's it's drama. And then this bee, who where, who knows where he even is? He's over here flying around. It's like, it's like kids. <laughs> it's absolutely exhausting. I need to get my bees, I need to get these bees, like, taken care of. I need to get them in um, bee houses. I have a couple. Yeah, there he is. He's over there messing around. Look, there's no even, not any flowers over here, guy. Take your honey your pollen that you've got on you, take it back over here and get it in the beehive. I don't know where the other bees are. They better still be around here. It makes me, I don't like it. We gotta get these bees like settled in like ASAP. Yeah, there's a bee there. That's a non-pollen bee. He doesn't have any pollen. I guess the other one went in the hive, I guess. Who knows? You hardly ever see them both out at the same time, or all three of them out at the same time. Anyway, I don't want to spend too much more time talking about that. It's exhausting. So what we're going to do is over here, and the reason I terraformed this all out is because this building is going to be pretty good size. We're going to build essentially a massive greenhouse sitting over here. That means I'm going to have to get lots of sand, but I can do all that stuff off camera. I'm not worried about it. I've already been playing for a couple hours, and let me tell you what, I'm having a ball. I'm having a good old time. So I want to sort of get these guys. There's some skeletons walking around somewhere. I think I need to be on the, at least the other side. Because this thing is going to be big. I think. Yeah. I want to set it back a little bit. Yeah. Like maybe here. Let's see what this looks like. So if we do 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we go like there. 
And that's going to be massive, right? Yeah, I think that's going to be okay, though. And then we can go... So, by the way, the terraform line is essentially... It's really close. I'm going to come in and put a wall here. Like a defensive wall or just like a retaining wall, probably. Um, we'll do that at some point. We'll stretch it along there. Wrap it around there. Um, this is where I was getting all my dirt, right over there for terraforming. Um, there's a pond right there, which I don't even know if I knew was there. But I think we're going to do some more. We're going to trim some of that back and make it so we can see that pond and maybe even extend it. That'd be kind of cool. Because, look, we have, like, this natural... I love this game. <laughs> All right, so this thing is going to be 13 blocks wide. And if we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... No, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19... Make it like that big. 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right. And that means, so this thing now is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 21. Yeah, I sort of need to see. Here, let's do this real quick. Do I have some dirt? Yeah. I'm looking I'm trying to look at footprint size here. Make sure we grab that. Let's just let's go up here above the ground here a little bit. And get an idea of footprint size. I mean it might be okay. I don't feel like that that's square. Yeah, I think this is going to be good. It also needs to be really tall. So, I don't know how tall we're going to make it. I think we're going to make it, like, maybe nine blocks tall. Let's go take a look here and see what this looks like. Actually, let's do it this way. need to get this and this, and we'll go... How many is this? I don't know. Now that's... I had this great idea. I need to get scaffolding uh, I don't I don't know how to make it. I think you make it out of uh, bamboo. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, that's going to be huge. Is it going to make everything else look like really small? I might be okay if it does. Because greenhouses, by default, we're going to have bees in here. Yeah. I think I'm okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we can do like one of these deals. Now, that thing is going to be monster. I'm down. Okay, let's go sleep through the night. Let's get this thing at least. My, my parents are chilling out here, man. They're loving it in here. They don't mind. <laughs> Janky and Alex, my two favorite parrots in the whole wide world. Okay, so now if we do... So this is 19 in the middle. That means we're going to have a, a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So here, right, and then... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. So we're, my plan is to have like like arches that go over the top of it. You'll see in just a minute. So one, one, two, three, four, five. Bump, bump. One, two, three, four, five. Bump, bump. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, okay. Okay. And then I'm out of I'm gonna have to go chop down more trees. Uh, but what I wanna do is in our little bit of time that we have here, I need to see if I've got I gotta make sure that that's what we want. Absolutely, that's what we want. Because this is going to be like, I've decided. Um, I didn't really know what we were going to make over here in this little area. You know, we've got our cool wells. We've got our little pathways. We've got stuff going on around here. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be, uh, we want to focus on bees for a little bit here and get some stuff taken care of. Oh, hello. 
Who do you think you are, guy? About to get chopped around here. All right, let's look in here. Do I have any pieces, parts? Not really. Not really. Hmm. Okay. Well, we do have some. We do have some stuff. All right, here. Let me see. Seeds can go in here. Saplings. Let's put these away. These can go in there. Um, spruce. Let's chop down a bunch of spruce trees. Dyes. That can go in there. Mob drops. That can go there. Dyes. This can go here. Just to clean out our inventory a little bit. And then this glass can go in here. I'm going to have to get a lot more glass. That's for sure. Okay. So, oak. Do I have any more oak stuff? I do. I have a little bit. And I've got... These. I don't really have any stairs. Okay. I'm trying to decide if I should make this oak. I mean, what's the rest of my buildings? My buildings are all oak with a spruce roof, right? Yes, yeah, so we need to stay on the in the oak family. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to go up here. We're going to do a little bit of this together if we possibly can. Let's go like here. Let's build just like a little bridge across. This is kind of old school. That's <laughs> why so you had to build stuff. You know, and I'm not, you know, I don't know. I see lots of, like, videos where people are like, check out my amazing build. And then it was all in, like, creative mode. And I'm just, uh, that's not for me. I'm not down with that kind of craziness. Um, of course, though, it would be nice. Yeah, that's okay. I'll just do it. Okay, let me put this guy here, and then we'll do a little bit of crafting. So we're going to need some stairs for sure. I don't know how many stairs. Let's get, like that many okay all right so these need to be like arches but they're gonna be somewhat flat so let's go so one two three four five six one two three four five six okay so this guy right here and we'll use these this guy right here one I don't want these to be very high. I mean, like three or four blocks is about all we really want them to be, I think. These arches in the middle. Oh, dang it. Just carted myself down on the ground. Okay. All right, so if I start right here. that simple okay let's go do the same thing over here I mean, I think maybe that might be good enough. It's not be anything too crazy. Being able to fly would make this like a million times better. Hmm. I'll tell you what. Um, let me mess around with it a little bit and see if we can't figure out a better arch pattern. I, mean, I think that would be maybe best. But this is how I want it to be. I just want it to have like a like a small, like a shallow um, arched roof. And then it's just going to be like a big, long thing. Yeah. And then each of these are going to have that same thing that goes all the way to the top. And then we're just going to fill it all in with glass. I think? Yeah. All right. So let me um, mess around with this arch a little bit off camera. And I'll bring you back after I've got some progress. And I'll try to get as much as done as I can. I'm probably going to have to have a big furnace array fired up here soon. Melting a whole, or cooking a whole bunch of glass. Yeah, stacks on stacks of it. I might need white glass, too. Hmm. Let's figure it out. I'll see you in just a second. 
Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Okay, so I think I figured out this arch. I think it looks pretty good. Let me show you how to make it. So, I don't know if you want to make one yourself, but, you know, you could, I guess. So, it's I need to be able to go... Well, I'll fix those in just a second. There is a, a slab right there underneath that guy. But we're going to do this, and then we go like so. And then we go like this. Right? So that... That, and then another one like this. Okay, another one like this, another one like this. And then uh, we need to get our spruce full blocks. Then we're going to go like so. And then this guy. And then this guy. All right, and then three blocks across the top. One, two, three. And then another one like so. Okay. Oh, actually, we don't want to put this one in yet. All right. Now, I need to see if I can make this jump. Hurry up! Oh, that was a perfect jump. Okay, so this guy goes here. All right. Yep. Okay, and then like this, and like this, and like this, and like this, and like this, like so. And this is where the whole block comes. Like that. And then we've got to do one like so, and one like so. Okay? And now we have the arch that goes all the way across. Okay? All right, let's just do that again. we got to make a couple more of those for sure. Uh, the only downside, the only thing that I can't do, and we'll come back along the bottom, but then in the middle of these, there's four blocks separating each one. By the way, I've got a whole bunch of oak trees growing over there. I planted like 45 saplings or something. Um, you can see them sort of like rows of them there. Um, I need tons of oak. I don't have enough oak to build these pillars. I did decide to go with spruce because I think spruce, I mean, that's kind of what we've been doing all along right? The roof, the sides are oak, the roof is spruce. So we're going to do the same thing there. All right, so let's start on this side. Hello, Busy Bee. We're going to go like this, like this, and like this, and like this, and like that. Okay, and then we do the solid block here, and then one like so, right? And technically one like that, all right? And now we can go one, two, three, all right, and then we gotta try to make the jump. <laughs> and then like this guy down there, and then here, here, here. Hello, B. This is about to be your home, son. And then like that, and then we do full block like that, upside down, and like that. All right, and now we've got our arch. We've almost done this, um, but this is so. I'm gonna finish these off. I do need to take a little bit of a break and go to the desert uh, over there we've already got like areas where we've been sort of clearing out stuff um i know this is going to be a massive build but i think it needs to be so it looks awesome yeah yeah be the bees love it already um i don't know I, I i think we have all our bees i think they just for some reason it's just like one bee that keeps carting around i mean nothing has come to hurt them at all We'll see what happens. I'm hoping that there are more than one bee in there. That guy's over there. Sometimes I don't like what he's doing. It makes me nervous. We need to get him enclosed. <laughs> or or as close as we possibly can. I mean, that dude's like a mile away. He's over there playing in the smoke. Um, I'm hoping there's more bees in there. I mean, I haven't done anything. There's no reason. It hasn't been like caused any trouble. Nothing's been around. Nothing attacks them. I surely haven't touched them. So I'm hoping everything's all good in the neighborhood. I hope. Yeah, I mean, he's bringing pollen back. But I really need more than just one. I think they're in there. They gotta be. <laughs> I mean, if they're not, I'm gonna be so sad. Alright, let's, um... So I'm going to go off camera, and I'm going to build the rest of these arches. I'm hoping maybe I'm just too high. I mean, I wouldn't think so. I don't know. I'm going to build the rest of these arches. Oh, out here on the end, it's a double, right? So double arch, because so, it looks cool. And then I'm going to chop down a bunch of oak trees. Yeah, I mean, there's a bee over there. We have to have more than one. I mean, I do not want to have to go back and out in the middle of nowhere to see if I can find more bees. That's about my idea of a good time. 
that's for sure. Anyway, let me keep doing what I need to do here. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Okay, I've made some significant progress on my build here. I'm a little bit low on spruce wood. I hope I have some more down below. I mean, I have a little bit here. Um, I, I was down to two bees. I stood there and waited, and only two bees came out, so I bred them again. This should be empty. I just put this up here. Um, I think they're all inside, but there are two. There's certainly two in there, or at least there should be three now. Oh, it's exhausting dealing with these bees. We have to get them in their final place. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. There's one. I know they're in there. They're just chilling. Okay, so we have all of this done. I went and chopped down all the wood that I need. It looks pretty good. I think it looks awesome. I can't wait to get the glass in there. Um, and then I've done a little bit of work inside. So we've got... Um, what is this stuff? This is just well, this is regular dirt here in the middle. But then we've got some gravel and some coarse dirt and some dirt that's just making the little floor along with one of these. I think what I'm gonna do though is I kind of like the idea of this being spruce. Oh, I don't now. I probably don't even have enough. I'm gonna have to. I think I have a little bit more spruce down below. So I think I like this because this is gonna be like the walkway, right? So you come into the greenhouse, you're gonna walk. Um, around through there, yeah, there's gonna be oh, it's gonna be amazing. Okay, so I made lots of I, I went and got a bunch of sand. You can see I've got a little bit here, but I smelted up uh, four stacks of sand. So we're, let's just start with this. I want to see how far one of these will go. I have to go find some more white dye. Let's also look for some spruce while we're down here. Okay, spruce, please be some more. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's just get that, maybe, for now. Maybe like that, okay. And then dyes, do I have any more white? I have a little bit of white there. Oxi, I want to say that makes gray. If it's gray, I don't care. Yeah, so gray, we're going to put that back. We don't want to do that. And then do we have some more here? Oh, yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's go make ourselves some white stained glass, because I think um, that would be pretty awesome. Okay, let's go here. This, these guys go in the middle. Let's make some white stained glass, like so. Yeah. I was going to do panes, but, you know, I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, it's going to look great. And, like, the framing. I mean, if you've ever seen, like, a real um, uh, greenhouse, this is exactly what it looks like. The, the glass is kind of, like, on the inside. Yeah, I'm going to definitely need more than four stacks, which is good to know. Okay, so we've got that going. Let's put the floor in the rest of the way here. Let's convert all that. Put the floor in there. We'll dig all this up. My inventory is beyond destroyed, that is for sure. And what are you going to do? Okay, so there's that. Yeah, so it's going to be good. And then we'll figure out something to put down the middle. I think we're going to put, like, I don't know some pots and stuff like that on it maybe um, I need to make more of these things so I have that too wide yep okay and then I need to make more trap doors okay that's more than we need but that's okay put these guys down along this side like so Okay, and then I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to have to go. Actually, you know what I want to do? I want to get rid of these. Yep. Um, we're going to keep these beams exposed. I think that's going to look better. Okay, yeah. Okay, and then what this is going to do is I think we can hide water sources there so we can till the ground, right? Okay, let's go make some more stained glass. I'm going to go off camera here in just a minute and do the rest of this. Let's get like a couple stacks of stained glass. I also have to figure out how I want the roof to look. I'm not 100% sure. All right, let's go to our crafting bench. Put all this here in the middle, and then we can do like one of these deals like so. And make a whole bunch of stained glass. Okay, then we'll go one, two, like that. Then we want 
gonna skip that spot. Okay. Yeah, and then we just need to raise this up the rest of the way. Let's see if we can't together before we go off camera again. Let's see if we can work out the roof line on how we want to make this thing look. Let's just go up here. That's in the middle, yeah. Okay. Actually, you know what we should do? We should probably, I know it's kind of a waste, we should probably fill this up. We're going to go up one more. Okay, then how do we want this roof line to go? We actually probably want to go up one more. Like so. Do we want to go up one more so that's covered? I think so. Okay. And then we'll go like so. Well, this is going to be a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. And like that. And then... One, two, three. Hello, bees. <laughs> oh! I thought I was in a hole. Um, I've just been... I've been really enjoying... Oh, yeah, there's the baby. I think that's the baby. Just doing his baby bee thing. All right, because I wanted this thing absolutely to kind of stick out. Mm. I don't know if I, I want it to... Like that. I think that's okay. I think it's going to be fine. Alright, so let's go here. One, two. Yep. And then... And then we're going to do... Okay. And then... Yeah, I'm in trouble. Okay, do some dirt out here, and then we can just do like one, two, one, two. All right, so I'm out of stained glass, but I think that's going to be good. I want to make sure that that's the same on both sides. Whoop. Okay, so one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. That's exactly how I want it to look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's get a little bit more stained glass just together so we can make this look awesome. And then I'm going to have to make a bunch more sand. I'm going to do lots of work. Um, that's okay. I have tons of like little odds and ends projects that have to be done while we're trying to finish this up. Oh, you junk thing. All right, go like so, and then like so, and make some more of that. Okay. All right, it's going to be nighttime. I'm not even sure how long the video is. I don't think it's too bad yet. I think we're doing pretty good. Then we just have to set up the bee deal. And I have a plan. I mean, we're just going to have the bees in here chilling, doing their thing. I think it's going to be really good. All right, so let's go maybe on the outside here. Yeah. Just so we can fill this up the rest of the way. Okay, let's go back down. All right, and then let's see if we can't get part of this here in the front done. One, two. And this I'm just going to take up. I mean, I guess it's got to sort of follow that. Well, it's going to go up as high as it can. So that'll be like that. These two will go like so. Okay, and then... Okay, and then... <laughs> yeah, I need so much more glass. I mean, that only did that little tiny bit. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm going to have to do some work. But I wanted to make sure you guys had an idea of what we had, what the idea was here. Okay? Now, before we go off camera, I'm 
Okay, so that's all of that's going to be. Now, let's try one more thing. And I think it's going to work perfectly, but we'll just verify. Do we have a... Okay, nope. I don't even know if I have one. I'm thinking maybe in this box. Is there a hoe in here somewhere? Yep, yeah, okay, perfect. How about a bucket? Oh my goodness. Alright, how about crafted items? Oh, we're going to need these. Oh yeah, it's going to be amazing. I mean, I think. Okay. Alright, let's go up here. I don't know where water is. Oh, across the way here. Probably get it faster if we went a different direction, but this will be okay. Oh, my board. Okay, what can I get rid of? Okay, good enough. Let's swap this around like so. And then, I think my plan is, because, so the bees, if you don't know, bees, like, will help with growth of crops. Oh, I think it's going to look amazing once we get it all done. We have a little bit of work. Yeah, there's the bees chilling. There's all three of them. They're out of their little hives. There's the baby. And the parents. Okay, yeah, you guys are doing good. You're happy. If you're happy, I'm happy. All right, so then we're going to go right here. We're going to drop water. Okay, and then we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like so. And yeah, so that should all get hydrated. That'll work. And then we can do water along those spots. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, bees. This is going to be your home soon. You're going to be in here permanently. <laughs> oh, they love it. They love it in here. They're so happy. All right, so let me get tons more sand, do all the different things that need to be done, and I'll bring you back, and hopefully at that point we can take a look at the, the end product, and hopefully you're down, and I'm down. Yeah? Yeah. I think it's going to be good. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. I think for the final time in this episode, um, we have a little bit more work to do. I wanted to say, oh, hold on a second, that I found this um, greenhouse design by it's a lady, Gemini Tay, and I'll put a link to her channel um, in the description box. I, I, I need to do a little bit more work. She had some um, fences out here to kind of break up that front side, maybe on the back as well. I don't know. Uh, we may have to do a little bit of... Uh, pardon the pun, but sprucing up around here. Um, the other thing that I think that um, would make this look a little bit better is to extend like maybe do something up there. Yeah, we need to do a little bit of work, but I can take care of that. We can start maybe with that next time. But I'm really happy with the way that this thing looks. I think it came out really well. Uh, here's the inside. And um, this looks good. We got some crops growing around in here. The bees are helping this stuff grow because they're flying around. There's the baby. Um, he's taking care of business. <laughs> so I had to wait until nighttime. And then I smoked the bees using my campfire. And I brought this in here. Originally, I was going to have two beehives. But my plan is, is we're going to uh, breed up these bees a little bit further. And then eventually have like two hives worth of bees in here. I know this is a very large build for just a couple bees, but you know, it's just the way it is. This isn't necessarily a production shop. Maybe down the road we can have some sort of cool produ production shop. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I can sit here and watch those guys all the time. Um, they seem to stay in here okay. They don't like to go out the front door. Maybe they will, but hopefully they'll know how to get back in. But I'm pretty happy. Uh, I know this is a longer episode than I had planned on, and let me tell you what, um, this episode's taken me about four or five hours to make. Uh, one thing about that Gemini Tay lady that I found this design from, she did this whole build in creative mode. So it's a little bit harder. <laughs> I mean, it's her build, but it's harder whenever you're doing it. Um, not in creative mode. So anyway, which is of course what we did. So I'm going to take a thumbnail as um, soon as I'm done recording here, and then we're going to call it a done deal. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all your support. Thank you for uh, being you. I appreciate it more than you can even guess. Uh, until next time, please remember to be cool, don't be a fool, and from my 1.15.1 Vanilla Minecraft Let's Play series, we got a cool greenhouse and bees. I guess we'll see you next time. 
Bye, everybody. This video and hundreds like it was made through the support of my amazing patrons. If you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave.